Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to show you how I did my BMW K1200S radiator refill using vacuum using a weird little hand pump like this. You wouldn't think it did it. I didn't think it would do it, but it did. So, usual story. First, uh, make sure your fairings are off, etc. I had to do this, by the way, just because there was a rocker cover bolt leaking. Hadn't been done up tight enough, tight at all, by a shop ages ago uh, but to get to it I had to drop the radiator and the fluid um, and the drain bolt is just there it's only finger tight plastic thing if it's a bit too tight use a pair of pliers but don't go overboard um, there uh, are two pressure tanks the one on the other side I'll show you but this is actually the proper radiator cap on the overflow bottle and the dump hose from that goes in behind that and I've blocked it off just using wise grips, old wise grips and two washers to spread the load out. Now while you're on this side just check with a 15mm spanner that um, you can loosen this plastic bolt. It's got an o-ring on it, it'll feel funny. It's uh, airing air bleed point and then on the water pump just here is another one just like your brake calipers just check that you've got a ring spanner so that you can put a hose on it and then undo it when um, we're bleeding the last of the air out later um, to drain the coolant out of the bike don't forget to undo the radiator caps so that you're not blocking pressure in there because it'll actually hold the fluid back from leaking out so undo the other one and this one and then do them back up um, now these pumps are only cheap they come with a you know meter off hose and I think I paid 15 bucks for this and I thought I'd just wonder I wonder if it'll work had my mate um, Sergio over here with his vacuum gauges and we actually teed off this with a reducer down to his gauges and it did, it worked, it held vacuum, all good. Uh, took about, I don't know, 10, 15 pumps. Um, on, obviously, this is the suction side. Now I've just got this dump side to this rubbish bucket because we got a little bit out. The coolant I mixed up is, I mixed up two and a half litres all up, including a uh, litre of anti-boil, anti-freeze concentrate plus, um, I think it was about 125 or 200 mil or something of um, um, anti-corrosion concentrate. Um, the water I got actually from a pet shop, believe it or not, that has their own filter and it's as pure as you're going to get it and cheapest chips I've got 20 litres including a brand new 20 litre drum um, for $17 in Australia so it's a bargain I'll use it for the cars whatever um, so getting back to this so we uh, we checked that we've got vacuum and the system held there were no leaks I actually did connect this to the pressure side for a bit and put pressure into the radiator system and under the drain pole again and a little bit more fluid came out be careful if you do that because it's under pressure it will spray out at you make sure it doesn't get in your eyes or on your skin like i got on mine because i wasn't wearing gloves then um so then reconnect this to the vacuum side of the pump we pumped it up with the gauge showing it was at the required uh, minus 0.8 bar which is about minus uh, I think 10 psi which is the same as 20 inches hg vacuum on the gauges um, so this hose was the hose that went to that overflow point from the radiator and you can see I've just teed into it easy done 
Uh, I did have the brass fittings already from all the stuff I have lying around, so it wasn't a big deal, but it's um, 8mm internal diameter hose um, to tee in. That's what, that's what the pump came with, so it worked out spot on. Um, these are push fittings. You'll work it out, just make sure it pushes in easy, and to release it you have to pull on this ring while you pull the hose out. It is very easy. Anyway, we pumped it up to vacuum. Now here's the trick then. You've got to, I'm gonna to have to put the phone down for a sec. You've got to use wise grips to block this hose off. Now wise grips have the serrated edge on them. They can damage the hose sometimes. So I actually just grabbed a couple of washers to spread the load, same as I did on the other side. All right, bear with me for a second. I'll see if I can uh, get this done. Ta-da! Obviously I adjusted all that previously so that by the time I tighten up it's all good. Um, and I guess I did do it a bit neater. Um, but I'm not actually going to do the whole procedure again. I'm just showing you how it worked, but it worked well. At this point, um, disconnect that pump. We did connect it to... We did connect it to the bottle feed and use it to prime this line and then carefully disconnected it holding finger over it. Any excess did go into the slops bucket. I um, took that tiny little joiner hose off, put it over onto the main hose. So there we have bottle primed, a little bit of spillage sure happens. Just um, get a rag. Don't throw it down the stormwater drain, by the way, people. It's yucky chemicals. You don't want it in nature. Um, I can't say what I did with it on TV, but it's the best way to do it because the council takes care of it. Anywho, at this point, we've got vacuum already in the system. The other hose is blocked off. All the drain... Bleed points are blocked off. Radar caps are blocked off. All you got to do now is open that, and that just sucked fluid straight from the bottle, straight in the system, until it had enough, and then it stopped. At which point, this was all still uh, full of coolant. Disconnected. Um, I ended up having to put just a tiny amount, like I don't know cap full into here um, at that point we took the bike off the side stand and I just moved this down so I don't spill it by the way I did put a big ass bolt with zip ties to the hose so that it always sits at the bottom and at that point I fired the bike up um, undid this bleeding point lift it right up push this wiring loom out of the way a bit lift it right up and you'll actually see air like you'll you'll see nothing because air is going to be coming out a little bit first and then coolant as soon as you get the coolant and no air bubbling out close this properly um, I already had a small diameter hose on this into a bottle and a ring spanner I just open that wait it took a while actually to um, get all the air out um, I think the firmest that probably had to open up and um, let that let this side of the system fill up as well. At that point, we got green fluid out, uh, no bubbles to speak of, so I closed it and uh, ran the bike up to temperature. And um, all was well. The firmest that's kicked in. Um, the fan kicked in and. The temperature came back down one bar on the gauge, spot on to that middle mark where it should be. It actually went one below a minute later. Um, so I'll take it for test drive, but I'm confident it will be all good. And um, yeah, hope this helps you. A little uh, cheap tool. Cheers. See us. Safe riding.